since the engagement in October, the Mobility Pricing Independent Commission has been uh, looking at all the fantastic input we got from over 6,000 uh, residents of Metro Vancouver, the stakeholders, the elected officials, putting it together, trying to understand what it is that uh, people in this region care about when it comes to things like mobility pricing, uh, decongestion charging, as we've been calling it, and, and getting around the region in an efficient way. So we've heard a few things really clearly. Um, I think loud and clear we've heard, heard that people are concerned about affordability. Uh, it's a big issue for this region. People want to know that whatever we uh, recommend is going to, to be uh, thinking about affordability. Also equity, um, the availability of uh, transportation options uh, in all different parts of our region, which is very diverse. Um, but we've also heard that people are, are concerned about congestion and, and the, the potential for worsening congestion in the coming years. So we started with a long list of about 11 different uh, policy tools that we thought might achieve something. And we've uh, put them against a test of uh, can they reduce congestion, could they raise revenues, and could that be done in a way that is fair? And uh, through that analysis, we've taken some things off the table for the minute. And we're really uh, looking at uh, hearing more from the people of Metro Vancouver about two things. One is um, what we're calling a de or congestion point charges. So are there locations within the road network where you could put in a charge and it's going to have a really good impact on, on congestion? Maybe that's it's forming a cordon around a certain location or it's uh, kind of locations where there is congestion within the road network. So that's the, the, the one tool we're looking at. The other is uh, what we call distance-based charging, so where you might uh, ask people to pay for their road use according to how many kilometers they drive, maybe varying different amounts of uh, money depending on uh, where and when within the network you are. So what's next is we've, we've, we've published this uh, kind of interim report, this halfway report of our work. Uh, we're looking forward to the next stage of engagement starting uh, at the end of January. We'll be going out to uh, engagement with stakeholders, uh, coming out to the public in mid-February.